guys, welcome back. Today we are going to explore doing some lettering on our iPads. I really love this because it lets me explore some lyrics to music that I have really been a fan of and helped me get through my day. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to first set up a new canvas. And when I set up a new canvas, I'm going to go to new sketch. And I want that sketch to be 3300 by 3300, just a little square. Now I have gone through my lyrics and chosen the words that I want, and now I'm going to just use my sketchbook to sketch out a few different formats. So my phrase is, know that you matter. And so what I want to do is think about the words that I want to stand out and the words that will just kind of build it up. So I'm going to try a different couple format. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to use my guide and my ruler to just split my canvas up into four little sections here. I'm going to try out four different ideas. This is something that as artists to just kind of set up some, these are what we would call a thumbnail. And a thumbnail is something we can do to, to sketch out and do a little bit of thinking. So know that you matter. Maybe in one, so when I'm doing um, some little formats, what I'll do is we've got a couple different guides. You've got a straight line, you've got a curved ruler, and you've got an ellipse. So this is going to be my little under layer. So if I take my ruler, let's say I wanna just work with um, straight lines. So know that you, so I'll just do kind of do that and you, um, matter and like let's say now I can practice that out a little bit more I can also use my guide to go through and do like the tops of each of these letters too okay so now that I have that, I can add a little layer up here. Let this be something that is just a little bit opaque. And now what I can do is use those to help me. So this is gonna say, know that you matter. So now I can, this is gonna just be my general handwriting right now. Cause what I'm going to focus on right now is how I want to lay it out. Okay, so there's one thing. So you can do that and create your own little grid for that. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of mess around with this too. And maybe I wanna do one that is an ellipsis. So maybe I want matter to be like a circle. So trace around the edge. And maybe I want my curved line. So you could see you kind of like take this little ruler here and you can move it around there that seems like something I want to do there we go so know that you will go on top and matter will be in the circle so no is about that you say I shut that off um, and Let's try that out, just kind of. Remember, these can be sketchy and rough. Ooh, I kind of like that circle format. Now I'm gonna try maybe something like a diagonal setup. So I want to have it say, know that you, and then I'm gonna have a diagonal like this. Ooh. All right, so I kind of like that diagonal, but what I want, instead of this diagonal following along, I kind of want it to get like 
bigger and the letter's kind of like shouting it out. So I'm gonna do something similar. So it's know that you, and then instead of that, I'm gonna have it go across, but then the top of the letters are gonna be diagonal. Okay, let's try that out. All right, so now I am looking at all of these and I feel like I'm connecting the most with this one right here. So take your design, take your words, and start to lay them out in your sketchbook. You could do this on paper or you could do it on Autodesk Sketchbook, but start to play around with this ruler option and use it to kind of set this up. Set up your design and start sketching some ideas as thumbnails for what eventually would be your project. I'm gonna choose my fourth one there um, and go with that for my final design.